Good afternoon guys, this is Steven Howard. Uh, my dog Yucca and Rio are in the motel room. And I just wanted to show you guys something because uh, a miracle has happened. Uh, I can't really believe it myself, but um, my vehicle, I had this 1997 GMC Suburban. It's my Montana rig. It's a 4x4, uh, 97, so 30 years old. And uh, it's been completely rebuilt. Uh, blew up the motor this last week, and I was really, really worried because I, I live out of my vehicle. I do everything from my vehicle, and I didn't have any, any money to, to go get in a new vehicle. Well, today my father, Roger Howard, uh, kindness of his heart, gave me the opportunity to buy a 2014 Ford Expedition, the one with the kayak on top, the white one. It's a brand new vehicle to me. It's a 2014, uh, just a little over 100,000 miles, but it was uh, owned by a construction guy, a high-end guy that did the oil changes like every 2,800 miles. So it's all current. Everything's really, really nice. It's a beautiful, beautiful vehicle. So I went from the Suburban to the Ford over there. And I'm, I'm really, really happy about this. Um, I've been staying here at the, the motel uh, for a couple days now and really, really worried about what was gonna happen, how I was gonna survive all of this, especially during a pandemic. And the price of vehicles is just going higher and higher and you're getting less and less for your money. So um, I just wanna really thank my father, Roger Howard, for helping me uh, attain a new vehicle and give me the opportunity to start my life over again at 48 years old to have a, a newer vehicle and be able to survive is really, really important. Um, really at any age, but especially when you're my age, you know, um, I was basically looking out on, on being on the street or, or homeless without a vehicle, and uh, that didn't look very good. Um, I want you to know that the guided meditation that I had three days ago at camp was so powerful that when we woke up from meditation, literally we had to snap into action. A friend of mine came over and jumped my vehicle we had about 15 minutes to pack up camp and get off the mountain. And then my vehicle was running really rough and we were just praying, praying to make it to the to Henderson and the, to the mechanic. The mechanic looked at it and said, it's, it's not fixable without a lot of money put in it. So we're not putting a lot of money into a really old vehicle that, you know, potentially could just break down again. So, um, I was looking on Craigslist trying to find vehicles that would replace it. And uh, my father had a neighbor that was a close friend that had his vehicle up for sale. So uh, my dad went ahead and bought it. And uh, I really owe him the world right now. Uh, so thank you very much, Dad. I really appreciate it. Uh, the guided messages that I've had are that when things are at their worst and you're at your wit's end, you think like, it couldn't get any worse or there's there's things that you know are are unseen that you don't know a way out uh just realize that a miracle if you just stay positive and keep the faith that a miracle is right around the corner um i got a call today from regina moore up in uh montana that she won her her uh, civil case and uh Sometime in December, we'll be getting a large sum of money uh, in a settlement. And she said she'd help me as much as she could uh, when that happens. So uh, sometime around my birthday, December 10th, um, I, I might be getting a little chunk of money to help me pay off my fine and get me freed up from um, all the concerns that I've had. Um, get Get a whitewater kayak again and um, get a few things established, maybe a small trailer, 
But um, I'm just really doing the best I can, getting by every day, keeping the faith and staying on the path. Um, I want you guys to know if your intentions are good, everything's good, that the wheel of fortune is spinning and it's spinning in your favor right now, especially us fire signs. Uh, we've been through what I consider to be living hell over the past year. And um, we've come through actually shining. We've come through actually better than people thought we would be. Uh, we've come through with more understanding, more caring, more empathy. Um, today I donated a bunch of stuff to a homeless man that was here. And I'm trying to downsize and trying to get from a suburban to the Ford Explorer with just enough stuff. As you can see, I got bags and kayaks on the top. So I just wanted to tell you guys the good news. Um, you know, we're doing great. Uh, dogs are doing great. We do miss our camp. We do miss the mountain people and the mountain. Um, but I want you guys to know that all of this had to happen in order for me to continue on and continue on the journey helping people. So that is exactly what I'm going to be doing with my energy. Anyway, um, you know, vehicles break down. Sometimes you got to make a decision and you got to open up your heart and open up room for change. You got to open up room for the new thing to come in. So sometimes you got to clear out the old, get rid of old stuff, give stuff away to make room for new stuff to make room for new ideas, new concepts. So as you're getting rid of stuff and you're like, gee, I really don't want to get rid of this, uh, just remember Dr. Wayne Dyer and his story about the shirt. Uh, his son came to Hawaii and visited him in Maui uh, during the last couple years of his life. And um, son went out shopping. His dad gave him some money. So he went out shopping and bought a bunch of clothes and came back home and was laying all the clothes out on the bed and dad came in oh i want to see what you got and uh dr wayne dyer said oh uh what which which one's your favorite shirt and he goes i think that blue one with the surfer on it and i was like okay he was like okay yeah that's my favorite shirt so dr wayne dyer picked up the shirt and put it on and he goes, hey, what are you doing? And he's all, well, wouldn't, want, wouldn't you want your dad to have your favorite shirt? And he goes, well, yeah, but no. And he was really kind of bent about it. And so Dr. Wayne Dyer wore that shirt of the whole two-week vacation that the kid was in Maui visiting. He would launder it every couple of days, but he wore it the whole time. And... The kid would just scoff and be all annoyed that his dad was wearing the favorite shirt that he picked out when he went shopping. And, uh, you know, after a while, the kid was like, why would you take my favorite shirt, blah, blah, blah. He goes, I wanted to show you that, you know, if you have something that you really want to possess and it's your favorite thing, you know, you might want to give it away and give it to somebody that you really love. And wouldn't you, wouldn't you want your dad to have your favorite shirt? Isn't that cool? And he goes, yeah. And they're standing out front of a 7-Eleven in Maui. And his, uh, his dad picks up, uh, takes off the shirt and hands it to a homeless man. And uh, the kid goes, why'd you give the favorite shirt away? You know, that was my favorite shirt and I gave it to you. And he goes, well, it was my favorite shirt too, but that man had such a dirty shirt on and, you know, looked like he hadn't had a new shirt in a while. So I figured, you know, why not give him our favorite shirt? So he did. And uh, for the next two years, Dr. Wayne Dyer saw that homeless man every once in a while and he still had the shirt on. And it made him smile and it gave him a good memory and he always talked to his son about the shirt. So 
I don't know what the point of my story was, but I do know that my dad just did something for me that I will never forget. That, uh, thank you very much, dad. I really, really appreciate the help. And I was not in a position to do anything. And, uh, I'm really glad you helped me. So I hope you guys have a blessed day. Um, I'm sorry Yucca and Rio aren't here, but I'm in a motel, and they tend to run around all crazy out here. But um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Mahalo. Uh, we're all hanging in there during this coronavirus and everything else that's happened. And it seems like everybody's trying to keep a, a positive and loving attitude. I've seen more gratitude and, and help between people here in the past few days than I've seen in a long time. So uh, everybody keep up the good work, keep up the light work, and one love everybody. Thanks dad.